creative, fun, and affordable, mm -hmm. shadow art is an activity to do with your kids or just by yourself to create brilliant works of art. So we've got Professor Emeritus Dean Nimmer. He's also known as Dr. Dean, the art doctor, because if someone has a problem with art, he can fix it. He's joining us, and we have some other people. Uh, Steve Jones, Sergeant in the U.S. Marines and veteran of the Iraq War, and his daughter, Cheyenne Jones. They are busy making some shadow art that we're going to show you in a little bit. But first, set it up for us. What is shadow art? Uh, shadow art is one of the exercises in, in my book. Mm -hmm. um, uh, written two books. One is uh, Art from Intuition, and the current one is Creating Abstract Art. Uh, they're really about uh, getting people to create. Because that's the thing. You say the only problem is people not creating. Because anything's art as long as you're enjoying yourself. More and more these days, uh, people uh, aren't using their imaginations. And uh, uh, there are so many things you can, you can do with that. One of the problems is that when you're talking about art, uh, that's intimidating. Uh, it's uh, art with the capital A. Everyone's uh, thinking uh, the Mona Lisa and all that. that. That's right, yeah. Uh, or her sister. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but um, the, the, the issue is that um, art is there to do. And so the shadow drawing uh, is an exercise that basically gets people to uh, start making something without thinking about what it's going to look like in the end, or uh, is it good or uh, not. I think that's the intimidating part, is that they see works of art that are stunning, but it's not all about the end result. It's about the journey and right. uh, how you explore it and really how it can be incredibly healing, which mm. I know we're going to see Steve and, and Cheyenne doing that art right here in our studio. But Steve talked about how it really is healing for him. Yeah, and, uh, you know, therapeutic is not a bad word, <laughs> you know. And it's also some of the, the myths about not only uh, art, but creating abstract art. One of the things I think uh, that I'm trying to push is that if you think of abstract art as an opportunity to engage your imagination, it has broader territory that you can uh, create in. Well, Dean, let's take a sneak peek into what they're doing right now, and I want you to tell us uh, yeah. what everybody's seeing at home. So why don't we check them out? So right now, we have a spotlight, and, and what are they doing? Uh, so the first part of uh, doing a shadow drawing is, uh, uh, this is a partner exercise. And you can do this outside, obviously, on a sunny day, but... Um, uh, or so in a studio with very bright lights. Uh, that, <laughs> that one, and that was very convenient. Yeah, uh, isn't it? So... Uh, <laughs> Here, uh, Cheyenne is uh, sketching um, the shadows, and this can be done like they're doing, uh, holding an object that may make interesting shadows. Uh, what's happening on the paper is uh, they're just layering the outlines of different shadows, and this becomes a composition that uh, it, they work into later. And we brought some examples of, of uh, shadow drawings they, they completed. Uh, but it gets past the thing of uh, not worrying about uh, creating a composition. And again, that notion of good and bad mm -hmm. uh, disappears if you just get started with the process. Because the only bad is to not do it. That's absolutely. And not, not to mention, too, seeing this father-daughter working together, creating art. They're not on technology on a smartphone. or They're engaging with each other and creating something that, in, in the end, they could actually hang in their home and yep. show. Right. And, and Cheyenne was also, if you noticed, testing Steve to see if he could actually stand on one foot <laughs> uh, for, for a long enough time. But, uh, you know. So why, why don't we call them in? Because I, I want to know what yeah. they thought about it. So come on over here. Yeah. And uh, let's see, let's see what you think. It and do you have some works of art that you can bring with you to show as well? well? That's right there. Oh, here they are. Yeah. I was dying to see the, the final you. result. Yeah. Nice Great work job. over there, by the way. Thank you. So uh, take us through, uh, how was it? What's the process like? These are your finals right here. What's it like? Sure. So we start out with, uh, as you had mentioned, uh, tracing the shadows. Mm -hmm. uh, one of us would hold an object or a pose so that the shadow was casted. And then the other person would draw the shadow. And then we go in, once it's complete, we go in and we paint and we fill in the, the, the lines that we've made to create a piece that's completely unique and totally random. So my question is, you weren't always an artist, right? You didn't grow up doing art. How did you find Dean? So I studied uh, psychology at Hoyle Community College and I had some requirements I had to take and art was one of those I had to take. And so when I took my first class with Dean, I immediately fell in love with art. I found it healing. Um, and I uh, enrolled in my second class with Dean, and now, you know, my daughter studies with Dean. I, 
Dean and I have become great friends through that. So now, Cheyenne, what's it like for you? Obviously, your dad took this class. He fell in love with it. He's influenced you. How has it changed you now? Well, I've been more open because before I used to be afraid to paint. I didn't want to touch the paintbrush because... You see all the big paintings, and you're like, I can never do that. <laughs> but abstract art just lets you be free. And you must find it incredibly therapeutic. Yeah. And now you're doing private sessions with Dean yourself. Yeah. So that is so. And I hear your your mom said that you're taking over the stu the, your house with the art, right? You have an art studio <laughs> in your house. You're taking over the entire house with your art. So it's really, it really influenced your entire family. Well, keep up the good work, <laughs> so Dean. Cool. It's always a pleasure having you here. So Shadow Art, uh, you can check more information out on our website. Uh, thanks to all of you for doing it. And I quickly want to mention that you are working together to put together a class for veterans to do Shadow Art as a, a, a workshop. At, at Toledo Community College. So it's a uh, uh, in process. So we're, we're hoping to get there. And we'll come uh, back when you got it all figured out, and then we'll tell everybody absolutely. else how they can get involved. Yeah, you know how much I love to come back. It sounds <laughs> good to me. We love I'm, having you. And yeah. I love doing art. We both do. And also, I had on Mass